the key on the ground on the other side of the bars. Maybe if I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. Will you pick it up? No, that's not what I came here to do. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go home. She had to stomp him. That seemed relatively unnecessary. Oh, you know, she's a uh, temperamental child. Oh, not spooky breathing music. Yeah, like, see, what do you do now? <laughs> um, trying. There's only, trying there's only here. the, there's only the second and third level. <laughs> oh, what is this? I didn't mean to come in here. Well, maybe it was the hand. Oh. Did I get you? No. I found the shopping cart room. There you go. That's good. It's a good room to be in. That, that's a good room to be in. Yeah. Look at the walls of the room, though. It's interesting. But it's... Yeah, because, like, a handgun couldn't have done this. Not, not one. With only one clip in it. Yeah, it's just bullets I everywhere. I say as if I know anything at all about guns. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, you can't, you can't worry about such things. <laughs> oh, I must leave. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, what's stranger is that it's already fully loaded. Woo! Scary noises. See, now do we go back in here? Is something else gonna be open? Like, let's go downstairs for a moment. Let's see what's down here. Cause that door's not gonna open. No, we need a certain key for that. I don't wanna go outside. There's nothing in the mailboxes. I already got the map. Oh, there's a save point though. I'll take that. Gonna be a mighty king like no one what? was before. Brushing up and looking down, working on my roar. Are you gonna go see the new Lion King? No, oh, shit, there's a new one coming out. What? what? It's supposed to be like live action, right? Uh, it's like, uh, it's like CG, but it's like really nice. It's like top dollar fucking Disney CG. I mean, it, like, looks al it looks, it almost looks real. How do you film something like that? I have no idea. You would know a lot better than I would. Do you just film a field and be like, yeah, we'll just put something in there? Oh, uh, I guess. Yeah. You just hire Pixar to make it? I suppose. I just don't see the point. Also, like, why... <sighs> Money, obviously. Oh, obviously. That's why they, like... That's why they re-release their old movies every couple of years. From the Disney vault? Yeah, from the Disney vault. It's like, you only have a limited time to buy it or it goes back in the vault forever. Don't tell me that, Disney. We both know that isn't true. So I'm gonna walk down this way, because I think that... There we go. Okay, now which room was that in? I don't remember. I think it was this one. Oh no, I missed him. I'm sorry. I ruined everything. You missed what? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Pyramid Head was there and I forgot to go look at him. Oh dude, you dodged Pyramid Head. That was like, that's like the iconic moment. He's gone now. Oh, I 
fucked it up. I ruined everything. Reset the game. I'm not resetting the- oh, actually, yeah, I guess I could re- I can reset the game. I love this on Xbox One. They show you, uh, the preview image is always, like, the super nice picture. What was the last time you saved? Oh, I just saved, like, right before we went upstairs. Oh, that's perfect. why- that's- so that's, that's the only reason I- That's the only reason I reset the game. I thought you were gonna have to, like, reset the entire- uh, Oh, no. The entire apartment area. Oh, no. No, no, no. That won't be necessary. I don't see the point in doing any of this. Okay, you ready? This is the first time we've ever played this. Let's watch what- let's- let's check down this hallway and see what happens. Oh, that scared me as it should have scared you. Oh, what is that noise? There's a monster over here. Oh my god, what is that? Creepy motherfucker. Just pyramid head staring into your soul. Okay, goodbye. Can't even do anything with him. Uh, oh, why don't you come over here and do that? I say that's my face, motherfucker. That's it. He won't do it. He's a... He's a giant puss. He's a gaping butthole. Oh, that too. Just oh my god, ass. what happened? Hmm? What? No! Poor motherfucker. Poor bastard. He just wanted to watch Jeopardy after a long day's work. Who could have done this? I suppose anyone who's capable of holding and firing a gun, James. Ooh, I got a room to key to room 202, if I can say the words in the right order. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with that big brick guy? Uh, what? <laughs> Who could have done this? I guess that's possible. I mean, he can wield a big ass sword. I suppose he could fire a gun if he, if he, uh, if he put his, uh, if he put his heart into it. Don't let your dreams be dreams, and all that. All right. So we want to go to 202. Where is 202? I believe it's down this way. It's not down that way. It's not down that way either. There we go. Uh, here we go. Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. Okay, I just went past it. Alright, new room. New room. New room. Oh, I've never noticed this weird vent before. That's kind of creepy. Vent? Oh, this is where all the little, the little moths are. That's right. And they are cute. Listen. Oh, wait, don't listen yet because the stream's not there yet, but. Yeah, this is the part with the music. This isn't the same. There it is. It's my favorite part. Patum tum. Patum tum. Potato. Potato. So scary. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of that hole. Yeah, let's just Will you investigate? Who will I ever? Do they, I think they do this in every game. You have to reach into a gross hole. Do you do it in every game? They do it in Homecoming. It's like the only thing they do um, that's like the other games, but... <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, you know, so I don't know. There's a part in Silent Hill 3. If you have Silent Hill 2 uh, saved onto your uh, hard drive... Oh, yeah. There'll be a cutscene where Heather will give you shit for uh, trying to reach into a toilet. She's like, why would anybody ever do something this stupid? 
And it's like, yeah, it's adorable. I like it. That's like literally the only thing to do in this room, is that right? I know there's a closet somewhere. You're supposed to find something on the wall. And it's not obvious at all, unless you know it's there. Alright, where are we at? Uh, the clock room. I think it's down the middle hallway? Yes. Yes. Pleasant dreams are unhealthy. They distract the mind, yes? Um, oh yes, this room. This horrible room. Room of tragedy. Okay, I want to know where the actual clock is now. Here we go. I'll put this clock, clock key to use. As soon as I can remember how to open up the menu again and not the map. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Oh yeah! <laughs> What is going on here? I don't understand what you mean. I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna beat the shit out of the source of the issue. Okay, I did something wrong because it's supposed to kachunk at some point. Let's go back and look at it this. It will just keep. Friggin' stupid riddle. Just, What's this? Just keep fucking with it. Okay, nine, ten. Yeah, it's 9, 10, and 15 seconds. Nah, just keep fucking with it. You'll figure it out. Everything's gonna work out. You'll see. Try it again. Alright, so the second hand is permanently stuck on 13. So you just have to move the other hands to 9, 10. Hang on. Ugh. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> Push the clock. Atta boy. I'm gonna enter that gross passage through the wall. Surely there's nothing through there that'll hurt you. Ugh. It may yet, Mr. Frugal. It may yet. <laughs> Hang on, I don't wanna exit the room. I just want to investigate my surroundings. Strider will look after them, Mr. Frodo. Somebody over there. Uh, oh, that's right. where that person is, isn't it? You can't see I'm what I'm doing yet. <laughs> Let's we'll just assume about, it is. Uh, talking about Eddie? No, maybe. I don't remember where he is. You run into everybody. At I some forgot point the in time uh, I area. forgot that other lady's name. Angela. Eddie. Angela. That's it. She's Why, so Angela? she's so not an Angela. The idea is that Angela is supposed to be like 19 years old. What? But the but the point is is that like she looks older. She looks older because uh, she... she's her whole uh, she's like dealt she's like dealt with like a life full of. Like fucking harm and hardship. That's right. Yeah, the makes sense. The trauma caused the trauma caused her to age quicker. Prematurely. Also, yeah. also her um attire is supposed to be very uh, virginy. You know, like like just non-revealing sweaters and shit. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, self-preservation thing. Uh, abuse mm -hmm. victims will do that. It's a it's a method of a uh, method of uh, self-protection. Because sometimes I think, well, you know, if I dress unattractively, then uh, that person won't want to hurt me. It's really, really friggin' sad when you think about it. Because that's just, all, all methods of self-protection like that, they, they basically correspond with blame, blaming themselves. 
because they think, oh, it's my mm. fault because I look this way or I acted this way or I practice good hygiene. Or like overeat and make yourself super fat. That's, that's another one, yep. Yeah. Or starve yourself so that your curves go away if you were curvy. Yeah. It's all a method of self-blame, which is extremely unhealthy. I don't like when I can't see where I'm going. I'm oh, sure you do. Should I do? <laughs> Come on. Huh. Who does I know it? you're in here. It's all part of the fun. Pain, oh, Jesus. first played this game and I first saw Fear had a post like this, I thought, wow, that is the coolest looking thing I've ever seen. Like, I loved him immediately. And I went to school the next day and I tried to tell everybody, dude, this monster, he's got like a red, like, pointed pyramid thing for a head. Yeah. And he's just the coolest fucking thing ever. You guys gotta see him. He drags his giant fucking, like, sword around and he can't even lift it. And he's just the coolest thing ever. You gotta see him. You gotta see him. You gotta see him. And so I finally showed it to everybody. They're all like, dude, this monster looks so fucking stupid. He's the dumbest <laughs> thing ever, and you're an idiot for liking this thing so much. I'm like, okay, fine, sorry, sorry. But then, but, but then something, something unexpected happened. Here with it became super popular. Yeah. And then when um when his popularity peaked they all come back to me and they say oh dude i love pyramid head he's so cool I'm like dude fuck you you gave me so much shit yep. for liking this guy <laughs> back in the day eat a dude eat a fucking dick will you goddamn disingenuous posers son of a bitch. yeah poser <laughs> conformist uh oh wait this painting hanging on the wall looks like a landscape of this area very intriguing. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. legs. No one deserves to go out like that. I, I gotta hit the bathroom real quick. Alright, go you ahead. Gotta, you, gotta run, you have to run the show solo for a little bit. That's okay. But, and when I say solo, I mean solo, because there's no one here but us. That's right. <laughs> uh, go ahead.